Well, I did tell my national program manager and my board, um, who are here tonight, and my advocate, that I just wanted to get through my speech without crying. But what I did not actually realise was that I've already cried throughout both of those. <laughs> so, excuse me if I'm a bit teary. But can I just say hat off to both of those organisations. I am so honoured to be up against them. <laughs> Um, so good evening ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to tell you a story about a 14 year old girl called Alana who I first saw in 2012 whilst watching a documentary on Four Corners called Growing Up Poor. Alana grew up in one of Sydney's poorest suburbs in southwestern Sydney where unemployment is rife. A third of the population has not completed year nine and teenage pregnancy is five times the national average. So in fact, it's the youngest population in Australia. And so they're kids, having kids, having kids. So with her father in jail, Alana was raised by a single mother who was uneducated and unemployed. Um, she was extremely abusive, she was drug addicted and a schizophrenic. So as a child, Alana's mother would often lock her up in a single room with her little brother for days on end. <coughs> Um, so one day, she even shaved Alana's head. You may have seen this documentary. Um, she, made, she shaved her head to make her look like a boy, and it was to protect her from the men who would regularly come around and visit the house for sex and to supply her with drugs. So Alana's mother would be passed out for days on end, and so Alana would have to rummage through cupboards to find food for herself and her little brother. Alana was just four years old and she was the primary carer for a two-year-old. So eventually their auntie took them in and she was a struggling single mother. She is amazing. I've met her many times. She already had three children of her own. So Alana's adult responsibilities increased and she missed school more than she attended. So Alana desperately wanted her change, her life to change and she wanted it to be different, but she had no idea how to break out of the bubble of this poverty. She suffered depression and anxiety and even had suicidal thoughts. And to no surprise, she dropped out of school that, and believing that she was destined to follow in the footsteps of her mother. Breaking this cycle is a mammoth task. And we believe that the situation of our girls that they're born into should not determine the trajectory of their lives. So we have to start somewhere, and there is hope, through the Sister to Sister program. So when Alana met her big sister, Michelle, she had no idea her entire world was going to change. Michelle took her by the hand and in a sliding door moment, showed her that there was another path in life that she could take. And since Alana has, n has never ever looked back, proving that it only takes one person to change another person's life. <laughs> Healing happens in relationships. So in the Sister to Sister program, we match each of our girls who are just like Alana with a safe and stable female role model. Our mentors go un undergo extensive screening and training to ensure that they're the best quality mentors that we can find. And for the majority of our beneficiaries, who we call our little sisters, it's the first time they've actually had a safe adult to trust and rely on in their life. Someone who's made positive choices, someone who sets an alarm and goes to work, someone who has a healthy lifestyle and strives to be the best person that they can be. But we're much more than a mentoring program. Sister to Sister is the only program in Australia of its kind that provides an integrated, holistic, trauma-informed education framework. We provide structured mentoring, psychoeducational workshops. We provide welfare support and crisis intervention. We provide repetitive, positive experiences, all carefully designed to heal trauma. And this takes time. So we work with fewer girls on a deeper level, level for a longer period of time, enabling us to maximise our impact and change lives forever. So our doors are always open beyond the 12-month program, 
and 95% of our girls, 16 years later, are still continuing to be in contact with their, with their big sister mentors after the sister to sister program formally ends. So we're forging lifelong bonds and the results speak for themselves. 84% of our girls go on to finish high school. 64% of those girls will be the first generation in their family to do so. 86% of our girls now identify relationships that are bad for them and 100% feel safe with their big sister mentors. So far we've changed the lives of over 500 girls and we do this with no government funding and only two full-time staff. So if you can help us raise $15,000, it would mean that we could train 18 Michelles to change the lives of 18 girls like Alana. A full program, however, is 36 big and little sister matches. So if you can help us get close to that $30,000 tonight, then we can potentially fund the entire training portion of the Sister to Sister program for one year. After recently completing a social impact study spanning over a decade, we can proudly say that we have a social return on investment of $6.8 for every dollar spent. So this means that if you help us raise $30,000 tonight to sponsor 36 girls, it has a social return of approximately $238,000. So we're very proud to say that Alana now, she's 20, she's the first person in her family to complete her HSC, hold down a job and live independently of welfare. She's currently studying childcare and she's an ambassador for our foundation. She helps out, she's an amazing help for, with our boot camp every year. She's just an incredible girl. She's still in touch with her big sister and says that although they don't share DNA, they share something even more special, a lifetime bond that can't be broken. Alana says that Michelle is the big, best big sister that she never had. And most importantly, she said that she will never, ever let her children. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ding me. <laughs> <laughs> she will never ever let her children grow up in the same circumstances as her. Thank you. 